guys, um, so we are back, and I want to show you how to cheat in the game. I know it sounds weird, um, but some of you were asking questions about, hey, the game's not letting me build when I'm paused, I don't have the right attractions that I want, I, are there other types of rides and theming, so I'm going to go over all that today. Now, when you're in your game, you should have this box, which shows cheat options, and I'm going to pause it here so you can see. Uh, if you don't have that, we have to make sure that you can see it. And you're going to do that by going, you click on the floppy disk and then go down to options, then click on the gears tab, and you have to click on the cheat mode. See how that changes the upper corner of the screen there? Um, so turn on the cheat mode. When you click on this once, uh, generally you get this tab. Uh, this is your basic financial cheats. You can set the game clock anytime you want. You can add more money, set the amount of money, you can change how guests act. Um, there's some interesting things uh, down here. Um, let's play Let's play a little bit here. This, this is interesting. So I'm zoomed in here a little bit. Uh, what happens if I hit explode? Um, there's just a bunch of random guests that start exploding. It's weird, but okay. Um, I can give all guests balloons or umbrellas and park maps but you know just interesting things when you explode guests look at the number down here it really is removing them from the park when you click on explode so be careful with that it does remove quite a lot of guests all right i don't mind that because my park's too crowded but that might be an issue for you if you need more people you can click the large tram and a bunch of people all show up at the same time but the main thing that people are asking for is actually on this tab over here and you want to make sure that allow building in pause mode is enabled all right some of these other ones be very very careful uh, especially like the ones that are building things at invalid heights disable brakes failure breakdowns uh, especially these in the ride track availability those can actually corrupt your saved files so if you're going to try those make sure you save the game as a different file first before you use those that could really, really screw things up for you. So be careful with that. Um, everything else, pretty simple, so you should be okay there. So that's that one. But there are all these other cheats that you can do in here. The tile inspector, you can click on anything. It'll tell you exactly what the tile is, if you're curious. That one has a footpath and everything. Don't need to worry about that much. Object selection is probably the most useful one for you. If you've played the game and there's something that's not available for you and you know that it could be there uh, and it's you know you let's say that you want these 1920s racing cars for your go-karts you can actually check them and enable them here the thing to remember is that the game has a hard-coded limit in some categories so like this category is a maximum of 128 different rides that are available all right so that's important and you're going to transport rides again 128 rides available it's that same window there um, same thing basically just 128 rides period so that's all that but if you go to this one footpaths you can have a maximum of 16 different types of footpaths so you can play with that and have some really cool looking footpaths if you want to add on you know different designs for that um, some of these are really strange now, if you notice, some of these are uh, ghosted. You can't uncheck them. That's because I've already used them in my game. So I've already used the space style, the tarmac, dirt, crazy paving. I don't know why that's called crazy paving, but okay. And then we're brown tarmac. But I can't uncheck those because they're already used in the game. See? Currently in use. And if I try to go above the max, well, this one I can do 16. I guess I, this is a bad category. <laughs> I can do every type, every type I need. This one's 15 categories, so these are objects that you can put alongside. I'd have to uncheck some of them to add more. Like if I want that pirate litter bin, I can't do that because it's already you know, selected. Scenery groups. You can only do 19 types of scenery groups. Uh, so if you haven't used any scenery from one category, you have to choose a different category and uncheck it and then check another one. Um, you can actually change the types of park entrances in the games. Um, you can only select one of these. The game's already open. You're not going to be able to change your park entrance. Sorry. That's done. Um, the water. You can only do one type of water. Generally, you don't want to use any of these other types of water. Natural water is fine. 
Um, but you could change the water if you really wanted to. I don't know if you want to make the water go on the moon. Um, once those are in there, you're going to have to make sure that they're available to you. That goes into your inventions list. Uh, these things are already pre-invented in the start of the game. And if you're earlier in the game and not everything's been invented, stuff would show up down there at the bottom. Uh, and then we also have scenario options. So that's just the current scenario you're in. That's where the interest rate comes from. Initial cash and loan. You can set all this stuff in your game. Um, so if you want to build a park and let's say that you don't like roller coasters, fine. You still have to build them for the assignment, but if people aren't riding your more less intense rides, you can check that. Um, you can decide how happy they are and everything. This is, you know, not realistic, so that's why I try not to have you cheat, but you can. All right. So that's pretty much all the different cheat things here. Don't enable sandbox mode, please. That's That just kind of changes everything. And don't disable clearance checks or support limits. Um, I've had games crash when I've done that. So. Um, if you want to play with those, just do it on a game that's not going to splice. All right, guys. I hope that works out well for you. Now you know all the cheat stuff. And you can build while you're paused. Thanks, guys.